So, what impact will TTIP have between now, uh, the situation now, and the situation in the future? I mean, it's of course impossible to predict what the, uh, the full impact of TTIP will be, but what I think TTIP will do is make it much more difficult for governments to enact public policies that might add a cost to business activities, and that might include all sorts of activities which are there to protect us from future environmental, social, uh, or health risks. Right? So if a, a new disease comes along, for example, the Zika virus, uh, and we find out that there's a particular uh, public policy the government can take, uh, maybe prohibiting a certain type of chemical, uh, then uh, you know, if that adds a cost to business activity, it might make it more difficult if the TTIP is approved in, in, in the way that it's, uh, that it's envisaged for that government to enact that public policy measure because it would give businesses the opportunity to object at various stages of the legislative process uh, to those sorts of regulations being brought in. So in my opinion, although TTIP won't lead to you know, a, a massive uh, uh, opening of the market to uh, genetically modified foods or chlorinated chicken, as some have claimed, I think it will make it more difficult for the government to act in the, in the public interest. The risk for Italian uh, product system? Uh, well, I mean, Italy, uh, as part of the European Union as well, has, uh, of course, you know, very stringent product regulations. Um, you know, if, it's, for example, um, uh, TTIP leads to an opening of agricultural markets, uh, you know, it might make it more difficult for Italian producers to compete with, uh, with American producers. But uh, I think the main impact would be on, on things like, you know, the protection of people from, from food safety risks, uh, which is generally more stringent than regulation in Europe. Uh, things like genetically modified organisms in the future, maybe, you know, when legislation is, uh, because at the moment it's been devolved to a national level, um, you know, decision whether to ban GMO varieties or not. So, you know, a, a TTIP may have an impact there, you know, on, on, on Italy. Um, uh, and so, you know, and likewise, you know, uh, TTIP might lead to a lowering of tariff barriers on textiles, and of course the Italian uh, industry, textile industry is still uh, struggling, but, uh, you know, it would face increased competition as a result of that. So those are some of the specific risks I can think of for, 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 for Italy as a result of TTIP. Your uh, key words for the future? My key words for the future. So one key word for the future is... And it's a big, a bit of a big word, but it's economization. So this is the idea that you know uh, uh, the metric or the way of assessing public policies is increasingly a purely economic one. What what is the cost of a particular public policy going to be to business, rather than what is the sort of benefit that a particular public policy, like banning a dangerous chemical, might be for the public? So that's that would be one of my key words. Uh, another one of my key words would be uh, depoliticization, so taking the politics out of public policy making, right? So m making public policy seem like a purely technocratic uh, exercise when actually uh, it's, uh, you know, it's more about, you know, decisions uh, that, that are inherently political, you know, assessing risks against each other. In, in a situation, of course, of uncertainty, but, you know, uh, acknowledging that those decisions are political ones and not just purely technocratic ones. So